That shit, it's, it's for the, hey, it is what it is. You got taken the lead this year. We love that Now for shit. a dog that's been sleeping under a rock, man, what's y'all name, man? Man, I'm TTB Pong, man. 39th Lake Park. That's it, man. Little school belly on fire away on money. Young money, man. They in the building. Real you know, a lot of more been screaming about y'all to get y'all on here. A lot. That's how a free dirt girl and Vaughn. Freedom niggas, though. Thomas Cobb's in eighth grade, bro. See, you lying. I'm gonna drive my mama's car. I'm gonna drive my Y'all asked the grammar school driving y'all mama's car. The whole y'all money was bitches and basketball. Hold on, who I'm, forced y'all I all still in? play basketball. Hey, Melly, who forced y'all in this shit? Who? Who the reason why you play with guns? Who forced y'all in this shit? Y'all the who first person to do it. But before we get get into the series let's keep a moment of silence for all fallen soldiers in the street wars and all soldiers who was doing life behind the bars in chicago prisons and free all soldiers who got captured by federals in a battlefield rest in peace to the fallen Yarmul Williams, aka Hyrak Gravedigger, is the 051 Yum Money street soldier. He had most bodies than any of his ops in Chicago, aka Hyrak. He is also known as Melly 051 Yum Money, the Gravedigger. He was a black disciple from mainly Mickey Cobra set. 051 Yum Money Gang is not affiliated with Cash Money of Lil Wayne or Birdman New Orleans, but it's a gang set in Southside Chicago. 051 Yum Money consists of Black P Stones and Gangster Disciples. 05 Young Money is a set of renegade Mickey Cobras, Black P Stones, and Gangster Disciples located in the Bronzeville neighborhood on 51st Street and Cottage Grove Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. It's as one of Chicago's most hated gangs. Due to them being responsible for multiple high-profile murders, including the 2013 murder of Leonard L.A. Capone Anderson and the 2017 murder of Kamari Babo Belmont. Yarmul Melly Williams was a well-known gang member in the streets of Chicago. But his fame did not come from rapping or sports, it came from the work he put in the streets. To be very precise, he was deadly serial killer and also that he had highly respect in the street. Due to the way he carried himself, he was born on the November 19, 1991 on the south side of Chicago. He has two other siblings and he is the oldest of the three, one brother, Wu, and one sister, Ken J. Melly is the son of Yammer Williams and Angie B. Williams. Melly grew, grew up in the Randolph Towers, also known as the Calumet Buildings, alongside his little brother Wu, 051 Young Money. Lil B, Ibby T, Lil Rob, Lam Run, Lil Reese, Lam Run, OTF Lil Varney, Lam Run, Fredo Santana, Front Street. E Day and C Day, 600, and Doo Wop, and LMB.
Nelly was fun kid growing up. He was never born as a grave digger but the street of Southside Chicago turned him to a cold-blooded. Nelly growing up was very shy babe. He liked to eat sweet stuffs, play with toy guns. He was very fun kid, respectful kid. He was type of kid who would pay extra attention to details. He was type of kid every kid would like to play with or to be around with because of his notable and eccentric charisma. He was entertaining, charismatic, but also very calm and collective. He was unique kid who possesses special traits that attract, inspire, or fascinate other kids. Even his fellow classmates who went to school with Melly in elementary school, and also too, do Sable High School say they shocked hearing from social media how Melly turned and became demon and serial killer of Chicago. Nelly was raised by Wu father Fido, Calumet, who was currently locked up for three to four murders back in 1994, in which Melly was only around three years old. Wu's uncle G Slim, NLMB, took care of both Wu and also Melly. Melly didn't get in the streets until around 2008 when his friend, Zico, 051 Young Money, was killed by a THF 46 member. Nelly didn't catch his first body until February 2012 when him and Kiddo, O51 Young Money, killed 600 member. Shaq C Day retaliated by him, OJ, Lamron, NS, 600, killing fats, O51 Young Money. In 2014 Melly and Wu Mom Angie passed from cancer. On March 28th of that year 051 Lil Mark would be killed by 600, THF 46, an O block which made Melly very mad. Then Lil Dark went to the bus stop where Mark died and said I, this bus stop right here it's a real famous place not going to lie to you. Bus stop, man. Hey, this this hey 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 this bus stop right here though. This 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 is a real famous place, yeah. This is a real famous place, B. Hey, this bus stop, this is a real famous place, B. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm saying, free my nigga team.
Melly and other 05 One Young Money members killed Dirk Cousin Newski then Chino and Raheem. In the next year in for the next four years Melly continued to do hits on his ops. Sadly, on September 1st, year 2019 Melly would be attending a party at 6107 South St. Lawrence, Jero City Hood, where he would be backdoored and killed by Nate 007, Taekwon World, but alongside Alongside 757, TTB, and Mob 51 created Meliway in his honor and killed Richie Jerk, Taekwon World, who was Billionaire Black, STL, Little Brother in 2020. It has been heavily alleged that Meli played a part in the death of Can't Get Right, STL slash EBT, who the party on that day was attended for. CPD stated that between 2011 to 2019 Melly was involved in at least 15 murders. Just got all my food. Piece of it. There's only a piece left, folks. Let bro, me get they this. took a piece of it. it ain't All right, I got you, bro. I just gave you get your money back, your curve, and everything, bro. So you, you bring up your little gracious thing when you need your shit. Some motherfuckers remember what you did. Huh? Yeah. Just like me a piece. Yeah, right? Chino Burger. That's what they said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, so they just said Chino Burger. Was that Buddha? I thought it was fat Buddha. Hey. So look, Buddha, Buddha who got that case from the with Mac, he ain't from the draw. Melly has at least eight bodies under his belt, I mean at least eight number of people he kills but according to the world in the street he had total of 15 bodies. These are some. 1 Shaq, 600. 2 Nooski, Face World 079 slash Dog Pound. 3 OTF Chino, THF 46. For Lil Dell, Folly Boys. 5 Trayvon, THF 46. 6 TWHY, GG slash Motown. 7 OTF Dilla, OTF. 8 Ambrii, Jero City. Bodies dropped while Melly present are 4. 1 Trix, 600. 2 Lil Boo, 600. 3 Raheem, THF 46. For Lord Slash Dre, Quiet Money. 
and people that Melly shot at her 43 hit, he intended to kill all of them 43 people, but it was unfortunately due to then gun jump, or he injured but his ops survived, or harmed them but the victims didn't die, or tried to shot his ops but missed them, below or just some in the list. Marvin, 5th Ward slash THF 46. D Thang, 600. C Day, 600. Lil Dark, Lamron slash Taytown slash OTF. Unknown female, she was with Shaq when he died, asterisk. King Vaughn, Oblock, after the death of Melly actually King Vaughn make rap line in his song says, Melly got shot and the party started Harlem shaking and this was to mock his dead rival, it is very common in Chicago to mock the enemy gang member when, when they die. Remember it's a drill culture, drill is aggressive, dark, violent, and about guns and shootings. It's called drill music because the term drill refers to killing, doing a hit, disrespect the dead. It's called drill music because the term drill refers to killing, doing a murdering, shot someone in the face, or head, or retaliating. For example, if someone says, we doing a drill, it means someone bout to get shot up. These aggressive themes are evident in music videos. People get shot up at the funerals, imagine you're going to bury your dead friends to realize the ops are preparing to kill you right there in a graveyard, these crazy stuffs happen only in Chicago, it's craziness beyond imaginations and sad at the same time, I tried to speak to some serial killers, they will always tell me don't bring God into this, so as a narrator my duties is just to report news, I'm a street reporter, now let's check more peep that Melly shot, at R. T. Roy, O Block. J Money, O Block, J Money also known as J Mana, and her simply Mana was a black disciple from O Block who was very close to King Vaughn, Chief Keef, Dirk, Lil Reese, O.D. Four member 051 Melly tried to shot at our boss top, will block. Lil Nick, Duke Squad, Just Blow, 600, Cap FCK 12, 600, McAdoo, 600, look it's a lot of people, I want mentions all 43 people, but I will give a list on a separate video. So it means we have to do arithmetic, addition of all bodies, let's do second edition, long edition methods, 15 bodies plus 4 bodies plus 43 victims slap victims slash or got shot at equals long addition methods, let's do it now, second grade addition maths, 5 plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 12, we write 2 we carry 1, then 1 plus 4 equal to 5 but we still we had 1 we carried, so means we get 6, so the total number of victims 051 Melly intended to kill were 62 people. The only people who could come close to Melly in a drill scene I would say Mad Max aka C Money of NLMB, then Cedrin Doles aka Shoulda Shells of Black Mob from East Side Chicago, this is just me though, I can understand if someone mentioned King Von of O'Block, or Lil Less of Pocket Town, or KTS Von of Cuthroat to Smoker, but based on my intensive research, King Von had fewer bodies compared to Melly, Mad Max, or Shoulda Shells. It's 358. Get with me. Shit, shout out to Sean while he chasing me down, but he still cannot hit me. So I get off the liquor like Martin while he's sitting at Nipsey's. And I'm praying for Tony because that day I knew he was with me.
gym. Hey, this was crazy. Hey, now, 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 now you know, I, I now nigga Melly. Now he one of them niggas you could talk to, you know what I'm saying? You could talk to him cause he, he cool. Uh, and he got a little points, whatever he did, you know? So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a okay. Uh, now he tell me, now I, I, I hide the nigga and shit. The nigga, I mean, he did, or he did right now. But like, he tell me as soon as he's alive. He like, I knew you was gonna get out shorty. You, you lost your best friend. God had to let you out. You see what I'm saying? Like God, he owed you that. I said, that's some. Upon a time, Rack and Nola series bring into you another chapter of a story. According to the research conducted most of the killing and gangs violence had not been solved and hardly to be solved due to no snitch code of conduct, passing, or telling police about streets informations of either any gang, your gang or ops who shot you or kill either side in the battlefield in exchange of street gang wars is considered to be snitching, weak, non-respected. Most of members of families and friends lost the loved ones and hesitant to come forward to drop the names of opposition due to snitch code of conduct. There is a say on street state that snitch has to be stitched, means if you inform the police means you're a snitch, and they will find a means to get to you and if they cannot get to you, they will go for your very close loved ones or member of your family intentionally just to hurt you. Sometimes I can understand what most of these youngsters Going through imagine go to school to enemy gang territories, growing up and became the products of the environments, kids who grow up in gang dominated neighborhoods join gang or die, or get pushed around by members or get messed with by enemies of your neighborhood gangs, regardless just because you live where you live, most don't choose this life so again hard to judge the young men for. Doing what they must to survive, sometimes it really is kill or be killed, and honestly it reminds me more of war actual combat and honestly if treated as such would be much better approach. Because these kids don't have choices, and most of them die very young however. Some make bold decision and leave New Orleans, Louisiana, a good example of. Rappers Lil Wayne, Birdman, Master P, Silk the. Shocker and J Electronica and many more these are. Some of of no limit whose brothers see murder doing life behind bar due to murder case master p whose real name is percy robert miller had felt betrayed by his son lil romeo going to social medias call his daddy out but he is broke and can't even provide basic need and call him useless for leaving his brother see murder suffering in jail many of rappers from calio project and Magnolia Project lost their lives, example Magnolia Shorty, Soulja J.A. Slim, for the name of. Representing their projects where they from, this also also remind me a lot of streets legends in Chicago and New Orleans who had long lasting quarrels and feud, example Cutthroat KTS Vaughn, KTS Dre, Hellrell Alliance with Shoulda Shells of Black Mob vs G. Herbo of NLMB No Limit of Jacoby Squad. So so many people ended up die in the prolonged feud, Shuta Shells aka Mr. Death of 150 was well known Shuta out of Eastside Chicago 74th and Phillips and his reaction were due to loss of his brother and friends of his beef while he was in jail due to illegal gun possessions and ended up die young at the age of 21. His main op G Herbo ended up leave the city of Chicago immediately right after Shuta Shells death. While in Southside Chicago there were ruthless war in Chicago history between 051 young money with ruthless However, some returned back to the city, but were they coming from because is where? They grew up as where majority of their family member reside, this series of documentary film. Research like I stated before is to raise awareness, to save lives and not to promote violence, it's all for the educative purpose so the societies can understand. The danger of violence, most of these victims, steppers and shittas are mostly are young, handsome, powerful, intelligent and young, they could be entertainers, mathematicians, basketball players, lawyers, players, actors, landowners, books writers, billionaires, successful rappers, leaders, doctors, preachers, scientists, farmers. 
Financial managers, bank owners, spirituality practitioners, nurses, historians, go to military, navy, software engineers, or go to the space, or become next Malcolm X, Martin Luther, or Harriet Tubman then free all steppers who've been held in prisons unlawfully and let them be free, but it's so unfortunately it's so sad that most these young men's dreams cut very short while they are very young most of them die or go to jail below 25 years of age most with or with no children, most of the drill. Rappers in Chicago had lost their lives in between 14 to 25 it's very rare for Chicago rappers who represent the gang, going war with their ops to get to 35 years it's unlikely to happen, most of them they either get killed or going to jail it's sad that many lost their lives. And some went and spent many years in jail a good example is VG, Terrence Gangsta Williams of Original Hope Boys Click and No Luck, D Rose, Rando No. 9, from 600 Chicago, aka Chirac. Before we go ahead and finish please go ahead subscribe, share, and like the video, so we can continue to raise awareness and save lives, it's very very important to subscribe and I honest deeply with all my heart truly appreciate all your supports, it means a lot. I was getting into it with them and we fighting them. So as we got older, the shit escalated. Her staying on our shit. Like he he'll tell you he's he still on 74th vacation. You feel me? But he won't really he won't really on that shit. You feel me? Even if he was on that and make it seem like it was that when six. You feel me? Then he stopped going to have park or whatever. You feel me? We was going to CVS and South Shore. You feel me? But a lot of them, you know, they kinda of deep. So they was going to South Shore too. They was going to CVS too. But we ain't none of us go to have park. We was always in South Shore or whatever. So it was, it was a shock to me when he even said my name in a little song and shit because I'm like, I see you all the time. I, I kind of felt like he was cloud chasing. To me, like, when, when, when he did like that, that shit was super duper old. You feel me? This was like 2020 before he really before he really got hot. You feel me? So, I mentioned my name. showing me like, damn, you heard that shit? Um, look, heard me. He said your name in a little song. So I looked at the song. You know, he said the little black mob, you know, shoot it, who name, change the shit. So I, I took it though. I came with a shooter with me. Not the man that still got a little shooter in me. Yeah, well, I go in for him and he goes on black hole. Chicago, why why Kobe and that Jordan? Why Kobe? Yeah. Um, ball like I'm Kobe is special to me because I named it after my homie Jacoby who got killed. So tell Lil Rock Kobe and Fazo, you gon' see him soon. You niggas fool, you got your wheel, honor what you said, nigga. Cause you ain't ballin' like you Kobe till you dead, nigga. With these two pistols, I ain't shooting at your legs, nigga. Two new extensions, I'm on the mission. The Smith and forget the Ask Kobe who went crazy with the blocks, nigga. Play that bus stop and you gon' get shot, nigga. What? How you don't know Shooter Shields? He may look cold famous. How you don't know Shooter Shields? He may see more famous. How you don't know Shooter Shields? Pistol your gang gaining. How you don't know Shooter Shields? Look back at one. Even New Orleans, bro. The Caviar and the Magnolia, them little dudes was together. It was the fly guy, the Mel too. They all was together. Yeah. So when they fell out, that. when they fell out, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> jump in no nigga business from number one. And from number two, right. that hurt in my heart. When I was here, this one was getting killed, and I was getting killed because I knew all of the dudes, bro. And, 